you are about to receive something. It could be something that you've been manifesting. It could be a message. It could be a gift. All right. There's something that's coming to you. This is not something that you need to seek out. It's coming to you. Being delivered to you. It could be a delivery. I don't know. Let's see. This will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with all of you. Please take it resonates and leave the rest. This will also not be for any specific Zodiac placements, but if I do see them come out, I will mention them. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested, click the join button below where you can find more information about joining in the description box. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. For some of you, it's going to be literally a gift. It could be like um, flowers. I'm seeing flowers for some of you. So let's see what's gonna what's coming in here for you guys. Well, for some of you, <laughs> it's a reunion. It's a reconciliation. I feel like if it is somebody wanting to reconcile with you or reunite with you, they're going to be coming to you to try to reckon or spirit is urging you to let somebody come to you. All right. But I really feel like somebody is on their way to you. Okay. Um, it says getting together, mending, reconciliation, harmonizing, compromise, and meeting again. It says the story is not over yet. Some of you guys are about to receive some money. Okay. With path to plenty here. You will have no problems getting what you want in life. You will be given more than enough. Yeah, so you guys definitely, some of you guys have some money coming in. We have door to power. Your courage to stand up for what you believe in will bring great blessings to your life. And we have good gossip. Somebody's talking highly about you. Somebody is like talking about you, but in a good way. Like somebody has a lot of respect for you. You have like somebody, if you have a good reputation or somebody's painting you in a positive light to some like to people that they talk about or something like that. It says your reputation is very good at this time or you're being talked about in a positive way. Some of you guys are getting more recognition or like more people are like discovering you or no finding out about you or like if you have a following or a business or something like that, that could tie in with the whole money abundance aspect. Clarify reunion. We have walking unscathed. Okay, you are fortunate a trap was laid out for you, but you were too smart to fall for it. What is this about? Crystal clear. It's time to see your life and it in its limitless potential without seeing through rose tinted glasses. The truth. Okay. Feeling deeply. You guys are about to... safe undamaged let's see embrace your feelings and allow allow to feel them fully love is entering your life yeah open heart emotions and love give me one more card Rep repetition sometimes in order to move forward you must repeat situations in order to learn important lessons patterns routine and habits so breakthrough a significant breakthrough is near whatever you're going through is preparing you for this big break so what is this let's get more clarity on this walking unscathed because it says a trap was laid out for you who was trying to center stage yeah you're not meant to be on the sidelines let your wishes and dreams take the center stage so there's like somebody either Somebody already tried to reconcile with you or they will try to reconcile again with you in the future. If you guys would have made the decision to reunite with this person before or like, I don't know, it's something about reuniting with this person meant putting your wishes and your dreams to on the back burner or like it would have sacrificed that. Like you wouldn't have gotten that. There's something also about like, tell me more. Or like somebody wouldn't have given you the the attention or the time and the effort that you really deserve or desire. We have between worlds. 
you've got you have somebody's attention yeah there's one reality that is slowly dying to the to one still waiting to be born I was actually when I was gonna when I was saying like you guys have something coming in I literally heard when I said delivery I was thinking like a child for some of you it could be a birth of a child but critical stage the old and the new somebody's caught in between like somebody's in limbo like or not quite stepping into their new life but not quite in their old life either but we have fire within Find a way to reignite that energy in your life right now and immerse yourself in what you truly love. Passion, action, and driving force. Okay, so what does this have to do with my collective? We have joyful chapter, okay. Take pride in your accomplishments, celebrate. It's like you're gonna be enjoying the fruits of your labor or something like that. We have magnetism. See, something is coming to you. You're just in this energy of like success and abundance and living your best life and you're in your power and it's like attracting something or it's like um, drawing something to you. Yeah, a magnetic force surrounds you. You're being given the power to manifest your dreams into reality. We have strike. It says expect to see major progress. Victory, conquering, winning. It's like almost like if somebody has been stuck or like, let's see, what's this have to do with this reunion energy though? We have ascension. I feel like whoever this person is that wants to reunite with you, they have been in like before they met you or started dealing with you, they were in like a limbo period where like they knew that they didn't want to be where they were at. Like they were already maybe trying to figure out like how to, to, but they were kind of like caught in the middle. Like they hadn't quite, how do I say that? Stepped over into the next chapter of their life. But I feel like since meeting you or encountering you, it says now they're shifting from one reality to another, to a higher vibrational reality. Yeah, it's like you have been, this person was stuck and then, you came along and it's almost like you've helped them become unstuck. And how is that? Pause and reflect. Be mindful of your self-talk and solve your problems with the fullest mental clarity. Yeah, things have been like stagnant. Some of you guys have just like maybe released this person. But what is up with this walking unscathed? And um, see, we have manifesting coming in very soon. You receiving something. But look how this card literally has a magnet on it. This is something that you are manifesting and attracting. This is something that you're attracting. You're drawing this in. Your energy is drawing this in. The weight is over in the works, allowing conscious thinking dreams into reality and revelation. So I don't, what was this? Who tried to trick you or pros and cons? It's almost like somebody was trying to, somebody wanted to be in a relationship with you. But it like wouldn't have been beneficial for you. Does that make sense? Like somebody was maybe trying to reunite with you or wanted to be with you or something like that. But you choosing to be with that person, the, the cons would have outweighed the pros. Like it, it just, it, there was like, there would have, there would have been a lack there. Like it just wouldn't have been the most ideal situation for you. I feel like you would have been making sacrifices that you shouldn't have to make. Like you would have had to sacrifice what you're like, what you would really want a relationship to look like or your dreams or something like that. Or because you could have been dealing with somebody that was lower vibrational, that vibration would have rubbed off on you and it would have like kept you from excelling and growing and ascending further and things like that. Okay, so what's ha tell me more about what's happening next. What's happening next? We have trout. Oh, some of you guys are going on vacation. I see you guys being on a short break with somebody. Like, it's not going to be like a long... Okay, either you guys are going on... It's like somebody you have like a really deep love connection with, but you guys are going to be in separation for a short time. I don't think it's going to be a long time. For others of you, you could be going on a trip with somebody that you, like, you have a deep connection with. For others of you, it could be somebody that you live at a distance from. Let's see. We have unclear path. It's like I see you going on a break with somebody, but you just not really knowing like what's going to happen. Did you, what, what happened? How did they go, how did they go into separation with this person? See, you guys are about to receive a gift. Keep doing what you're doing and your goodwill will come back to you tenfold. Generosity, windfall, and trade-off. Did they walk away from this? What happened? How did they go into separation, spirit? How did this separation come, come about? See, cleverness. 
Carefully craft your next move to use the problem to your advantage. Your cleverness will serve you well. Quick-witted, craft, craftful, and skillful, or crafty, sorry. Um, yeah, somebody's going to want to rebuild with you. Um, but what happened? Why is the separation yet unexpected? Unex what's unexpected? What's unexpected, spirit? Coming closer to falling in love. Romance, blooming, fun, flirting, falling in love. Want to date someone likes you in early stages. Okay. <laughs> good luck. Things, good things are manifesting. Like you're like you're about to have be in a blooming romance, but it's but you it's like you just don't know. It says step by step, keep going, and it will lead you. It's like you don't know what the future holds. But what happened between them and this person? What happened between them and this person? I definitely see that you were being protected from them. I do feel like you will be able to reunite with them in the future. But Spirit was like, not right now. You have um, abundance coming in. You have a lot of good things coming in. And we do not want this person to keep you or block you from these blessings that are coming in for you. That you have, you've worked hard for these blessings. Don't let this person, they got to work hard too. It's almost like Spirit is saying that this person doesn't deserve, not yet, they don't deserve these blessings that you have coming in or to be able to share in these blessings with you. It's like, it's something not right with this. It's like they have to, why is that spirit? Why are they not allowed to have, be a part of these blessings right now? Yeah. What about the, it's over marriage. What about marriage? Small steps. Sometimes there's no, maybe they have to, um, I don't know. Spirit may be saying that. I don't know. Let's see. Why are they not allowed to have these blessings yet or whatever this is? Why are they not allowed to have these blessings? Looking for love online, online connection, email message, online dating, networking. Maybe this person was trying to look for greener grass and spirit was like, no, they thought that they could find something better than you. And now you're in your harvest season and you've got all this good stuff coming in. And now they think they're going to just be able to walk back into your life when you're like at your highest point peak like you're at your highest point no so like it's something to do try out online see confirmation Ooh. <laughs> yeah spirit is not wanting this person to to be a part of these blessings that you're getting this money this abundance this recognition this whatever this is that you've got going on because this person was exploring options or they didn't they didn't value you as much as you should they should have. I don't know why they were doing this. Why was this person exploring options? Alchemy, the path you're on is about to go through a very powerful transformation. Why were they going why were they online looking for something better or greener grass or whatever they were doing? You're at the right place at the right time. You have to do what you're meant to do. Ready time since but what about this explore options and online? See triangle exploring different options i can't make it up guys or they were involved with a third party or something like that why why were they doing that though rebuilding why were they why were they with some clarify love triangle or whatever this is the devil um out of codependency yeah look at this addictions control yeah pos yeah obsessions codependencies they have some type of addiction or toxic habit or something like that all right, so spirit is, so what do they have to do? Are they going to ever be allowed to be in this or no? Because <laughs> I don't know. I see reunion. That card says the story is not over. That's going to be up to you guys. But this person definitely was, this person like maybe, like, let's get more clarity on that. Like what led to this person doing this? Like ghosting, not ready. They were like running. Yeah, they could have ghosted you, not ready to communicate, not returning text calls, text, disappearing, act cold behavior, running away. Why were they behaving this way? Because this person didn't want to change. Bad behaviors need correcting. Yeah, narcissist, self-absorbed, one-sided relationship, mirroring, vanity, ego, selfish, and boastful. Out of selfishness, and I feel like there were certain things that you reflected back to this person about themselves that they weren't ready to face and that they didn't like, okay? So they went and they tried to, yep. Then they had a true gem. Ooh, this reading. A connection worth saving. Valuable jewelry, quality, authentic, hard to find. Yeah, they had somebody that was literally a one of a one of a kind. Somebody that they're not going to be able to replace you. Yeah, but they made some bad choices with a true gem. Wow. 
Think of, think again before making any decisions at this time. Cautions needed. There's a hidden problem. Warning, reconsider, and no. Yep. They they knew that they... I don't know why they did this, but... So that's why, guys. So what's going to be happening going forward? What's going to be happening going forward? We have connecting. So we have... Some of you guys are getting out there and meeting new people. Let's see. What about connecting? Support. You guys are going to be connecting with people that are very, like maybe not even romantic just helpful people that are going to help you like kind of get through some things here searching new love pursuit didn't i say but it's something about not pursuing they're coming to you hunting exploring available have secret help helpful care helping each other rescue give favor lending a hand it doesn't feel romantic to me i don't know we have ascending Starting a new chapter in love. I don't know. Some of you guys are just looking forward to new love now. Preparing. What about, let's do my collector. Celebration. I don't know, guys. Good things are coming in for you. What's that mean for this person? We have love offer. Yeah, love will be reciprocated. Ready to give, honest offer, making it official. Serious talk, building a secure foundation. And how should my collective handle this? Or how should they feel about this? Or we have feelings are full of fiery sparks. Taking off instant connection, blown away, intense feelings and recognition. Somebody's coming in to give you the recognition that you deserve. The respect that you deserve or like, this, it's crazy because this person has a lot of feelings for you. They have a lot of love for you. They had a lot of demons too. What is this going to lead to? At home, a place the heart belongs to, to be or the a place the heart longs to be. You can end up building a family with this person, but what is time to reset your mindset to thrive and let go of old coping mechanisms? It's like they got to change. It's like this person has to let go of that, like, them, like those repetitive like habits that they have, because until they release those habits, reuniting with this person isn't going to be a good idea because they're going to go right back into survival mode at some point. It's like they got to release that way of being. So it's like the divine is not letting you reunite with this person until they get out of this survival mode energy that they're they're in. They have to reset their mind. They have to let go of their old coping mechanisms. They got to let go of the, the ways of being that are keeping them stuck. Yeah, exactly. Breaking molds. Confirmation. Break boundaries, erase all identifications, anything which fixes you permanently into one mold. New way, they got to come towards you different. So just know that, yeah, communication. What about communication? What about communication, spirit? We have alchemy. The path you're on is about to go through a very powerful transformation, transition, changing, and shift. Somebody may tell you that they're making changes. Give me one more card. What's this communication? We have momentum and middle of the road. See, somebody is still... Somebody is getting out of this in-between energy. Somebody's getting out of this stuck energy here with this momentum in the middle of the road. They may want to compromise with you, but it's like they're, they've been stuck. But it's like it says keep the momentum going, whether big or small steps. Keep pushing for what you want. Give me one more card. And then we'll go to the seed. There's something about them making very slow progress. It's like they're moving, but they've been moving slow. But maybe that's going to be changing. Slow progress, little wins, small advances, starting small, no hurry, dragging their feet. Yeah. So are they still in the energy of dragging their feet? Or let's see, what energy are they getting into? It says wants to put in the effort. So somebody is going to want to put in the effort. Uh, what is up with that heartbreak? And we have small steps. See, it's just this person has hurt you or something. Breakup, suffering, grieving, depression, unable to move on, misfortune. The small wins, the small triumphs, everyday victories, celebrate them. They will take you there. Slow and steady and careful actions. I see somebody coming back towards you, but this is definitely somebody that has hurt you. I do see it ascending to some a higher level of commitment. We have marriage here, but I feel like you're going to be taking things really slow with this person. See, what is this about? It's over. Sometimes they're, or maybe this person has wanted this with you, but they've been just wanting to move very slow. I don't know. Let's get some tarot. A lot of different variables here. What is going to be happening next? Let's 
somebody, I don't know, some of you guys just, I don't know, they missed out on you. That's all I can say. Let's see. What's happening next? So we have the four swords. So like I said, I still see like a period of like no, no contact or like healing or withdrawal. Like I see you guys not speaking. Yeah, the hermit. So yeah, I see like a, like a period of like withdrawal, Virgo energy, the high priest, silence. Yeah, this is silence. Pisces energy. Somebody's tuning into their intuition. Temperance. Look at these major arcanas. Yeah. Sagittarius. And somebody's healing. That's what it is. Spirit is saying that this person needs to heal. Until they make the decision to really heal. Like, it's just... So, what's gonna, where's this leading to? It looks like somebody's going to be doing that. I feel like you taking a step back, going silent on this person, withdrawing from them, you guys parting ways so right now is going to give them the opportunity to, to heal, to do the healing work. Yeah, so that maybe things can get better. We have the Six of Swords. What about the Six of Swords? The Lovers. See, I do think that things are going to get better in this connection. Gemini energy. Oh, shoot. Hold on, guys. Something fell over. Why did this just... Whenever... You guys already know that when my decks fall over, I always take it as messages. And this is the card. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Ah, look at this. Ah. Oh my gosh. Guys, I can't do this right now. Ooh. So, hold on. There's a lot here, but ah. All right. So, <laughs> something is about to happen here in the future you're not expecting at all. It could even leave you speechless, okay? Very shocking. It's a return of a person. They're hoping that you'll take them back. It's like the divine is saying like the collective has done the healing work. So everything that they're about to get, they deserve it. All right. You haven't been doing the healing work. So you don't deserve to yet have these blessings and this whatever this is that's coming in for you. Right. So the divine's like either you're going to heal and you're going to be able to share in these blessings with the collective or you don't get them. It's that simple. But they're going to come back. They're going to be hoping that you take them back and they're going to want to try to rebuild a connection with you. And look at the energy that they're returning to you in. They will ride for you and would die for you. If you need support, they got you. If anyone gets in, in your way, they got you. Nurturing. They will make you feel cared for and supported. This person has a warm energy that will always make you feel safe. That, I was seeing that earlier. Pampered. They have intentions of giving you everything you want, everything you need, and most importantly, everything you deserve support system they will support all of your endeavors and goals and will have your back should anyone dare to make you feel inferior and we have purity their heart is gold and their intentions are pure you don't have to question their motives when it comes to you but i do want to point out that what was the the card that was underneath that one is envy so there's some people around this person there are going to be some people that are jealous of this connection or how this person treats you like how well you treat this per how well this person's going to treat you if you take them back there are going to be some people or at least one person that's jealous of this. Hope, plotting on the downfall or hoping for the downfall of this connection. It says there is someone in their lives who is jealous and envious of you and is trying to do everything in their power to see you fall and the connection fail. Well, it's not going to work, okay? No, there, it's not going to work, okay? Um, all right, give me a second, guys, while I pick these cards up. Um, where's my deck at? So yeah, I I see things getting better. Yeah, look, confirmation, the Ten of Cups. This is what you guys are moving toward. That's ultimate happiness and fulfillment. The Ace of Wands, a new passionate beginning. But they gotta do the healing work. Look, the Empress, Taurus energy. That it could be like a fertility. Like, remember, we keep talking about birth. This is something that you've manifested. We've been talking about this that entire reading. This energy right here, manifesting. There was another card, magnetism. This is something that you are manifesting. When you step into your power and you demand respect and you demand people to treat you in a certain way and you don't settle for anything less than that, people act accordingly. Either they leave you alone because they, they don't feel that they want to do that for you or they don't have the ability to do that for you or they can't they just can't or they step it up and they give you what you deserve they give you the respect and what you and that's what this person is doing 
some of you guys could end up having a child. I'm going to be honest with you. That's only for, you know, you'll know if that's for you. Okay. But yeah, with the Empress here, that's new beginnings energy. That's um fertility energy. That's new. Yeah. Like all I can say is that this is something that you manifested. This person that's coming in and treating you like a queen, wanting to compromise with you, wanting to work on things with you. Yeah, the tower, the knight of pentacles, the moon, and the seven of swords. The page of swords. What about the page of swords? The fool. The fool and the strength. I'm telling you, this person's about to take a leap of faith. I feel like you guys don't even see this coming. The world here. Something's coming to an end, though. The king of pentacles. Yeah. It's just like almost, it's like endings and new beginnings energy. Like something did end between you and this person, but something is also going to begin for the two of you or they have the opportunity to, to start again between the two of you. But I feel like this person coming in with this offer is going to catch you off guard. Like the, the way that this energy that they're coming towards you in is probably something that you've never seen before from them. Give me a couple more cards. What else do they need to know about this person? Yeah, the six of wands. The seven of wands overcoming some type of uh, obstacle or challenge or something like that. We have, look at this. Ace of cups. The spirit says this love will overcome the challenges and the obstacles. Yeah. Yep. What about the four of pentacles though? The knight of wands and the eight of cups. Yeah, this person doesn't want to be a player anymore. I did see the player card too on the back of the deck. This is somebody that has a history of being a player. They don't usually settle down and they don't, This I don't want to say they're going to be a scent for you, but kind of like they're going to be very doting on you. Like they're going to be, treat you like a queen or a king. Like this person's going to treat you like, I don't think you've ever seen them. Like they're going to be one, like they're going to want, they're going to want to take care of you. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but this person is walking away from a lifestyle, like a very unstable player lifestyle that they were like holding on to. Like they were holding on to that for dear life, it seems like. But this person knows that if they continue to hold on to that lifestyle or that way of being, that they're going to miss out on an empress or an emperor. So I do feel like that is what is triggering this person to finally walk away from, or they're working on it. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Um, yeah. They're working on walking away from that lifestyle. Because they don't want to miss an opportunity with you. So, yeah, they're working on it. They're in the midst of learning lessons. The Hierophant is about commitment and marriage. That's what this is headed towards. The Hierophant, the Chariot, Cancer energy, Taurus energy. You're headed in that direction. You're going to hear from them. I feel like they're really determined to make something manifest here with you or make something happen with you. All right. What is the Eight of Swords, though? Eight of Swords. Why are so many stressed out? The King of Pentacles. They could be stressed out about... King of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. This person was, is always worried about money and stability and like material type things. But Spear says that could be changing or improving as well. Maybe that's what's been keeping them from. Yeah, it's like they're getting out of that mindset. They're having enough courage here to take a leap of faith. Yep. Aquarius energy, Leo energy. All right. So I am going to take this over to the extended reading. Um, the link will be in the description box. I want to take a deeper look to see like more of what Spirit wants. I want to see what all is coming in for you these blessings, what you're manifesting. I want to see more of what's going to play out between you and this person. Um, feelings, intentions, guidance, all that will be in the extended. The link will be in the description box or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. Private reading information can also be found in the description box. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in the extended. Bye.